Hey guys, I'm LB, and that was a smooth fade-in. We are going to check out Broken Lights by Linky. My favorite map I've made since the good old days map. This took me about four or five days, and I think it is a decent brain teaser. Especially the final room. Uh, they want to know how easy it is to solve and if the theme is good. And they wanted to let me know that the exit door in room 2 is false. We have to fling through the ceiling, apparently. Not sure why that's not in the description, but maybe it's a spoiler. I don't know why they spoiled me, but okay, let's get started. Don't have a portal gun yet. I'm sure we'll get one right there on the ground. If you are a non-employee who has discovered this facility amid the ruins of civilization, welcome. And remember, testing is the future, and the future starts with you. I'm not sure why that voice line didn't have captions. I'm sure there's a way to enable that. Yeah, this looks nice. I mean, over here, this this just looks like. A rectangular nightmare. Like it's all it's all flat, not too interesting. It's all the the gross textures. Over here, nice. Over here is nice. Yeah, like, you've got all kinds of nice detail in here. But as soon as you turn turn and look in this direction, it's pretty ugly. So, yeah. Oh, we got broken ant lines here. Hmm. Right. I have to say, it feels really nice to be back on mouse and keyboard. I'm recording this like an hour or so after the controller live stream. What does this do for us? Ah, oh, drop the cube. Interesting. This is neat. I like this. Ooh. I have to wonder what is supporting this, though. Like, why isn't this just tilting and falling completely down? You might want to have, like, a support or something. But otherwise, it looks nice. What do we have here? It's a very shallow puddle. I think normally the puddles in the main game are more clear than this. I don't think they have the deadly goo texture, usually. Could be mistaken, though. Yeah, I think normally the see through. Right. This all looks nice, though. Kind of boxy and rectangular up here, but otherwise nice over here. So what do we want to do with this cube? I guess we can just, uh... Hmm. Well, we have portal surfaces in here, right? So I guess, technically... We could put the cube through the portal? This- this move right here that I'm doing, uh, I generally- I try to avoid that in maps, because it always feels like I'm doing something wrong when I do that. But, I'm actually not sure what my opinion on it is. I am undecided. Alright. So I guess that's just a basic mono portal bubble demonstration, right? Interesting. Yeah, the occasional detail stuff like this is nice. It's just that when you see stuff like- like this, where it's just a rectangular box, it doesn't look as good, in comparison. Yeah, this room was really boxy. There is a nice detail in here and there, but, uh... Like, over here, you look in this direction and it's just like, ugh. Ooh. <laughs> is this the room with the- the fake exit? This is the second room, right? Oh, how did I- how did I mess that up? Oh, I didn't- I didn't center that, that's how. Yeah, so this is the fake exit. Gotta do something else. Gotta get creative. Let us stand approximately, uh, there-ish. Ooh. This is nice, I like this. It's- it's almost always unintended in hammer maps to get up into this area here, but I love that you made it intended. Because we're so close to the surface or whatever that's supposed to be out there. Ooh. Oh my gosh, what the? What? Whoa! <laughs> okay, something is not quite working as intended there. Huh. Well, that was interesting. Wait a second, was that the entire map? There's gotta be more to this, right? I mean, the hammerwork is okay, but... Was that the entire map? Did you spoil the brain teaser? I mean, there's an arrow on the wall, so I guess it wasn't that much of a spoiler, but... You called it a brain teaser? Huh. Alright, well... I would definitely rate this as easier than the single-player campaign, unfortunately. What happened here? It's not like that on the other walls. Or is it? What? Why... Why are these corners like that? Huh. 
It looks kinda... off. Well, anyway... As always, thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it, and I'll see you all in another video. Goodbye!